Hi, uh, it's been a while since I didn't make any videos on YouTube in English, also in Turkish, you know. Uh, so uh, today I'm, I want to introduce you a new instrument. Um, this is, I don't know what it is, <laughs> we didn't name it yet, but it's, it has an inspiration as you can see, if you're familiar with it, it has inspirations from the lute. The story behind the, this instrument is, uh, you may already know, uh, I have a friend, Gilad Weiss from Israel. He is an excellent guitar player, fretless guitar player, kopuz, orsas, lute and many other string instruments. He plays these uh, sas. And I made quite a few instruments for him. So uh, I think, I don't know, maybe for two years he started to play lute. You may already know the European lute. It kind of looks like uh, these kind of strings, you know, the, um, like kind of wood body, but smaller neck and different uh, type of uh, playing style. So last year when we met with Gilad, he wanted me to make a new Oursas, but he wants something different. At first we uh, talked about making eight strings, then I don't know how, but it eventually becomes became a 13-string instrument. Uh, I don't know if, if it was, this was a trap <laughs> from Gilad for me, but... And uh, I started building this SAS, I think, two months ago, and a few days ago I finished it. Uh, if you are already familiar with our SAS and Arkanor, uh, or if you watched my other videos, this is the, the first six strings is basically an our SAS. The tuning is La, Re, Do, La, Mi, Sol. And then it goes like a scale. Re, Do, Si, La, Sol, Fa, Mi. So it basically an orsas with additional uh, bass strings. So when you play a melody with, the, uh, with the, these strings, with the first strings, you can accompany it with, a, with these bass strings and you may create a bass line you know the main idea is this uh, i made the instrument out of blue <laughs> without any design so uh, it came on the way you know the neck is very white so when you make this white neck it becomes heavier uh, in order to lighten it up i uh, i tried to make i tried to make some tricks I carved some grooves in the neck, you cannot see it, it's inside. Uh, I carved them with a hand router. Also, you see these three strings are on the air. It looks cool, but uh, the reason behind is to make the neck lighter again, because when you remove this part, you see, uh, it's quite a bit uh, weight, you know, it makes the Neck lighter. Also, the packet design is, uh, comes with the same idea. If you saw my uh, other Oursas, you, you will see a similar design there. And the main uh, reason behind that is also to, to reduce the amount of uh, weight from here. But it also looks cool. And it does have another feature that when you make the packet this way, the strings go straight. So there, are, uh, there aren't any side uh, way pressure on the nut okay uh, the fingerboard is or the fretboard is cocobolo which is a very nice wood and there's a detail of set wood here you know you see the, here the white part it looks kind of nice and the whole thing is asymmetric it's asymmetrical as you can see it kind of looks like the that golden ratio drawings you know uh, uh, since I didn't design it on the paper, you know, or on the computer, I didn't know it would came out like, like this, but I liked it very much. You know, it, it looks kind of cool. It's, it's a unique thing. The body is uh, made out of strips and uh, the neck is made uh, out of, I don't know, maybe four or five pieces of wood. I glued them together. This way it becomes much stronger. And I cannot play it, of course. Uh, it needs quite a bit of work to understand the instrument, to adapt 
uh, the playing style. But I want to play it a little bit just to give an idea for you how it sounds. <laughs> like this of course this is not an instrument for everyone it's a specialty thing so it's more for like advanced players that uh, the, who are after some new sounds or new compositions or uh, new possibilities so uh, although I said this as the tuning is like this there are endless options of tunings you know you can tune it very differently according to your imagination, the makam or the, the scale or the tone you are playing. Uh, so I think that's it. This is, uh, I don't know if you can say that, but it's a new kind of unique instrument. Uh, here it is. Thank you.